How we create artificial intelligence in modern warfare too. So my name is Sergio Ocio. I'm the AI engineering director. So AI is anything that moves by itself. Enemies, allies that go with you in missions, cars. AI is everywhere in the game. My name is Mark Grigsby. I'm a studio animation director. I say Modern Warfare 2's AI is systemic. What that means is that when you play it, you're engaging with it in a different way almost every time. If you react in a certain way or if you move in a certain way, the AI will react to you in a different way. The first thing that we do is you start researching to see like what do people do in real life when they face the situation. We work with Navy SEALs just to make sure that everything that we do is as realistic as possible. We were looking at improving soldier speed during combat. In previous games, the AI felt like they were not appreciating their life, but in the new game, it feels like they are stressed out about the situation when they have to run somewhere. We wanted the AI to engage with the environment. So one of the takes that we wanted is for the AI to hunt you in a way where it was believable, where you were like, okay, they're thinking about me. They're, they're thinking about where I was, where I'm going to be, and they're preserving their lives, making sure that they're not going to get shot by me that I'm around the corner. The AI helps player be more immersed in the game. It makes the, the player feel more like a real soldier. And they're helping sell the experience of you are really in the worlds where we put you in. I think that the players are going to really enjoy the variety that we bring to the table when it comes to the AI. Not only are we going to have combatants, non-player characters, you're going to be able to travel your own path and engage or disengage. AI is a huge part of this project. It is across the entire game where we put a lot of investment, and I think people are going to really, really enjoy it.